All right, so we have uh, some other news uh, coming out uh, about that California car maker, or still, I mean, who knows what tomorrow brings, but currently California <laughs> car maker. Um, from, from Reuters, I love when mainstream media that is supposed to have credibility gets in the clickbait game. Oh, it makes me feel so good. And here we have Reuters saying exclusive. First off, Tesla's secret <laughs> batteries aim to rework the math for electric cars in the grid. Now, you may wonder, was this a headline from 2008? No, this is a headline from today. Uh, so Battery Day is coming up, and this apparently we'll be hearing a lot more uh, from Tesla about their the battery tech that they've been um, they've been working on. And Elon has even said, you know, he knows what it is and he still can't believe it. Uh, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, but apparently there's some stuff here about um, the million mile battery is here and there's a partnership with uh, CATL. I always say cattle just because it sounds yeah, cool. I love it. You know, I was born in Texas. Cattle's the thing. You don't um, want to say China's Contemporary and Perex Technology Limited? <laughs> it's, a, it's a few more syllables. I like how I like how Limited gets its own letter in this whole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just because if it was cat, it would be stupid, right? It'd be you know more Joe Exotic kind of stuff. And, and there's only one C. There should be two C's. Right. What yeah. kind of, who is in charge of naming things? We need. <laughs> I want to protest. We need Joe uh, to do another uh, whatever it is like the. Bureau for naming things. All oh, right, yeah. yeah <laughs> oh yeah, that thing I do that's good. really funny. That, that dude, that, that's up there with. Uh, if you guys remember Kevin Nealon, Mr. Subliminal. Oh yeah, I just that was one of my favorite skits ever. Um, okay, Old anyways. School, sorry, not loud. So uh, of, apparently, okay, so apparently they're doing some new battery stuff in China that is for uh, the China Model Threes. Um, and it's going to be renewable, uh, like being more reusable versus now where it's kind of hard to do that. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't seen that episode on Fully Charged about how they actually recycle uh, lithium-ion batteries or EV batteries, it's kind of fascinating. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, it's kind of insane what you have to do uh, yeah. because it's super dangerous. You can't just like cut into this thing and, you know, uh, but there are, I guess, companies that do that. Um, so the, apparently um, cattle, as I'm calling it, who knows? Uh, they're working on these lithium iron phosphate batteries, uh, which use no cobalt, uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. Should bring down the cost. Um, also, it makes it easier to, uh, to to package them up. They have a thing called the cell to pack that eliminates this middle step of building cells. Uh, so these are kind of, I, I believe, like the more pouch style batteries. I mean, there is a lot to be expected coming up on battery day here. So really excited about that but more than anything i'm just so hyped that reuters is getting into the clickbait game because it just validates <laughs> everything i do as a content creator i mean like like how is it a secret that they're trying to make better batteries <laughs> yeah why not just be like tesla plans to make evs popular yeah right, right. <laughs> exclusive yeah tesla exclusive. wants to make tesla wants to make the best electric cars in the world yeah like, and yeah. you have the like little uh, uh, police siren emoji at the beginning of your tweet, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it would be funny to do a, a blog or a, a news site or something that's written from the perspective of somebody who's been in a coma for 10 years and just wakes <laughs> up and is like, there's this company that wants to make electric cars? Right, right. Yeah. What? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here first. And Good they're luck. sitting at a macaroni grill. <laughs> <laughs> but so with the with the batteries i know we've talked about it a little bit but i mean are they really that groundbreaking if they're 30 percent more dense is that mostly what we're thinking is that they're like 30 percent more dense and li like double the battery like lifespan as far as cycle time cycle life like a million miles instead of five hundred thousand. Like, is that really that is it is it that groundbreaking are we going to see 30 percent more range because of this yeah, I'm curious what you think, Joe. It's a good question. Well, I mean, there's there's a couple of different ways it could go. It could be 30% more range, or it could just be um, cheaper car because there's not as many batteries in it. Um, you know, there, there, I mean, we've talked about this before. Like, do you need 500 miles of range in a car, or is 300 good enough? You know, mm. um, I I kind of hope they go the cheaper route to expand people's availability to to buy them 
How cool would it be or if both. I guess you can go the both. Model S ends up you know, a little bit, you know, take off eight grand of the Model S and make it, you know, clo- you know, just kind of bridge that gap a little bit and really, you know, do a mild refresh on the Model S, give it new battery packs and make it a really compelling, you know, premium car that's that's just knocks it out of the park where they could just, you know, where it'd be a really hard choice to choose between, you know, like I'm buying a Model Y, but five more grand, I could have this, you know, like that could be really compelling. Huh. Yeah, I think that I, I think I think I want both. Like, I like what you're saying, Joe. Yeah, like in and, and Tim, if you could like, let's say you make the Model S and Model X, you give them a pretty good refresh and now they have a 600 mile range for mm-hmm. even cheaper than they were before. Mm-hmm. Like that's same price. compelling. That's whoa. Because as great as the Model 3 and the Model Y are, there are people that want the more premium stuff. They want the dual screens. They want the more bells and whistles. I know a lot of, you know, a, a lot of kids out there really like the minimalism and stuff, but there are people that don't. And so, because uh, they're coming from a high-end Mercedes or something, right? And they want all those extra little, little tiny things. So, yeah, there's definitely a market for the premium side of it. If you could do that, that'd be fantastic. And then, but really, if you're thinking about Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition here, I think you have to be thinking cheaper cars because that's really where the bulk, like even the Model 3, even true cost of ownership is still high for a lot of people. And when you're talking about a $700 a month car payment, it is just going to turn off so many people uh, when you only make you know, uh, 20 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, something like that. It's just too much. It's just way too much. Mm. So if you really want to try to reach that lower market, you could either say, screw it, we're never going to do that, which is, I think, what they should do. Um, Mm. Or you say, well, we just have to keep pushing down this path of making things cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And this would enable that. Like, yeah, you don't need 500 miles on a charge. It's awesome. Totally. Someone will buy it. I'll buy it. But the you know average person does not need that at all so Mm -hmm. i'm totally with it um with making things cheaper i don't think tesla should honestly do that because their stuff is just way too advanced and fancy already i mean they don't have capacity for the real mass market i think honda and toyota should do it i think i think tesla should make these skateboard packs for dirt cheap and sell them to honda and toyota and those guys make millions and millions of cars um and tesla just keeps spitting uh spitting up gigafactories that don't necessarily make cars that just make these battery packs and let yeah let the let the volkswagens and those guys do it i mean i think in terms of actually speeding up the transition that would probably have a bigger effect that would be my guess mm-hmm. it'd be fun if they kind of split the difference if they have say 30 percent that they could do either make the car not quite 30 percent cheaper but make the cars substantially cheaper because it has fewer battery packs or extend the range you know 30 percent almost like it'd be kind of cool if they did a little bit of both like made the car a little cheaper but also yeah. made the range better just so it's like all cars. I mean, it would be awesome if they did that for their, their... I don't think they'll do... Do you think they would actually put this new battery pack in the 3 and the Y already, even though the 3 and the Y already have a newer battery system and a compelling range and all the stuff already? And the this Y just is, came out? So this is specifically talking about the Chinese-made cars. Mm. So this is the because they're doing the lithium iron phosphate battery pack. They're not doing the same kind that they have here already. So I I would say no. But I think we're going to hear updates on the dry electrode thing and some of that. And my 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 hunch is is that some of those may already be in production. Mm. Um, Some of those may already be in cars out there today. Probably not Model Three or you know just newer Model Threes and Model Ys. But uh, in this report, they talked about. This update here to the lithium iron phosphate battery packs, the cobalt free ones, mean that it will be less than um, $80 per kilowatt hour. Uh, they're saying the cost of the cells dropping <laughs> below $60 a kilowatt hour. And if you remember, $100 per kilowatt hour is kind of where the cost of an elect- making an electric vehicle would be on par with the cost of making a gas vehicle. It's like the break even. Right. Or the, or the pivot point or whatever. Right. And so, in theory, you could still have a really dope Model 3. And it be cheaper than it is now. Like, like let's say same specs, you know, 300 miles range, whatever, uh, but just, you know, 10 grand cheaper. That would be killer, dude. That would well, be amazing. Yeah. But even if so, they could go down like four grand or something, that'd still be yeah. substantial. That would still I be think, a substantial savings on a, you know, $35,000 car. Yeah, it's hard for people to really grasp, right? Like, we, when you go to a Toyota dealer and you look at cars, you can get like a brand new Corolla for like 150 bucks a month, and mm-hmm. for most people, that's fine. 
That's mm-hmm. totally, that's actually a good car. Like, man, I bought mm-hmm. a new car. Like, like I know the first time I bought a brand new car, I was like, whoa, like I've, I've oh, yeah. made it. I bought, <laughs> I didn't buy mm-hmm. a used piece of junk. Um, <laughs> it still has the smell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was I literally the model the three was my first brand new car I've ever bought. So, so when you look at that and, and then, yeah, when you look in, oh, well, what's your gas cost? What's all the maintenance costs? What's all these other things? Right. It does come out to be 500 bucks a month, but, but you, that's not the number you see. I really would love if Tesla could do something like provide you the energy for your car and charge you for that separately and then lease the car to you for even cheaper. So yeah, if you go into if you bought a brand new Model 3, it'd be 199 a month. But you have to buy your energy from us and we're going to charge you for that. So in the end it's 400 bucks a month, but <laughs> we're separating out those costs so it makes it seem cheaper. I don't right. know. I don't know how that'd be possible, but Right. I see what you're saying. You have to that's a perception that is hard to break. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.